Okay, here's a video uh, where we're going to take apart the X7 Phenom uh, and demonstrate how to program the chip uh, on the gun from the start. Um, so on the table right now is a list of most of the pieces you're going to need. Of course, you'll need a screwdriver to take apart the gun, the Allen wrench to take off some of the, the screws in the gun. Um, in addition to that, for programming, you're going to need your um, ISP programmer. This is to program the actual chip on the gun. It's a USB programmer uh, with a ribbon cable at the end. There can either be 10 or 6 pins, depending on the model you get. Um, price range, uh, these cost anywhere between, I don't know, $20 and $3, depending on the vendor you go and the fancy features you get. Um, the only requirement, really, is that it is an ISP um, programmer. Uh, it's compatible with your operating system. Um, and optionally, it can supply voltage. This one actually supplies, uh, there's a jumper on here uh, that either supplies 3 volts or 5 volts. Um, for our programming, we're going to need a 5 volt power supply, uh, so it's nice that this one has that um, on it. Um, this is going to be the bulk of your expense uh, as far as programming the chip. Otherwise, I've put the software up on Google Code. Uh, you should be able to find the link in the description uh, of this video or other videos in my channel. Um, you can download the code and then um, I think in part two, I'll, I'll split this video into two parts so it's not quite as long. Uh, in part two I'll go over the software portion um, of what you'll need to do to get the software installed on the gun. Um, so the first part here, we'll just talk about the hardware. Um, here's your gun as you've seen it. Um, Many of you are probably familiar, most of you are probably familiar with how to take apart the trigger, um, but we'll go over that just really quick. Um, I've already removed the screws just for uh, in the interest of time. Um, so you pop out these two pins. Remove the trigger. You've seen in the other videos I've done. You rotate the safety all the way up like this. Pops out. Trigger falls out. And now you're left with an empty shell. You can see the electric solenoid right there. Um, optionally, I think you can leave this in. I, I pop it off usually. Um, pop off the bottom air supply. Be sure to apply some grease there when you're done to put it back on. Um, take your battery out. And rotate it on the back. Pop everything off. There you have it. This is the internals of the gun. Take off your trigger guard, take off the air supply, and this is the electronic board. This is as far as you need to go uh, for tearing your gun apart. I know we just assembled the or disassembled the entire trigger here, so it, that's pretty far, but no soldering required for this. Uh, the camera's not focusing. This is as far as you'll need to go, um, and uh, we'll be taking a closer look at how to identify the pieces on this um, trigger. Uh, this is the main chip that you'll be programming. Um, if you look very closely on it, there's going to be an indented circle. Um, I actually haven't been able to look at other phenoms, um, so I'd, I'm not sure if you can use this as a clue, but the solenoid will be on the left, battery supply on the right. Looks like I need to fix mine. Um, then the, the top of the chip will be pin 1. Top left will be pin 1. So what you're going to do is let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, that's terrible quality. Alright. You're going to take this board and this is actually the really hard part. You're going to need three hands. So be sure you have a friend standing by. Uh, you're going to need to, I'm not going to do it right now, but the programmer has certain pin out in the ribbon cable. Uh, six pins are of importance, um, power, ground, and uh, reset, clock speed, and input and output. Um, those will be on the wiki. I'm not going to go over them right now, but um, it's going to depend on the programmer you buy, which, which pin is which on the ribbon cable. Um, so consult your documentation. Uh, the USB ASP, uh, the one that I'm using right now, this is a USB ASP 
compatible um, programmer. I've listed that on the wiki as well, where I bought it from on Amazon. Uh, seems to have a standard pinout. Um, so what you'll what you'll do is you'll get your jumper cables, you'll plug them into the proper spots on here based on your pinout, and match them directly to the pinout on the the chip. So the hard part is, okay, you you plug them into the ribbon cable, and that'll that'll hold steady by itself. And you plug your USB into the computer, um, but you're very carefully going to have to take each of these pins and apply them to the appropriate spots on the chip, which I've highlighted on the wiki uh, in a picture up there. So just a quick demonstration. Um, I'm only going to do two in the right hand and I'll show you why, even though there's six pins that I'll have to do. Um, you can press these to the table to line them up. So six pins, um, but I'm only doing five try to get them lined up to fudge them a little bit it's going to be top middle and bottom on the left side and then the bottom right too on the left press those and hold those while somebody else hits the enter key to uh, submit the commands from the wiki page so you'll have to this is a two-person job um, you can use other random appendages like your toe or nose to hit the enter key. It's quite a challenge, uh, but if you're up to it, you can do it. Um, and the reason I'm only doing five pins instead of the six uh, is a little trick. Um, if you take your nine volt battery um, and you can pry out one of the, the sides of the negative side, uh, you can fit, let me use the white cable. You can fit part of the wire into the nine volt battery just to hold it and then hook up the negative side to the board and that's just going to hold it in place um, and, and this part goes into your programmer so here and that's going to hold it in place for you so that's one out of the six that's already taken care of for you uh, the reason you can't do that with um, the power supply is if you run it from the 9 volt battery it's going to start um, uh, providing power to other parts of the board that's going to make it harder to program. Um, so that's, that's basically it for the setup. Um, for the second part of the video, part two, we'll go over the software. Um, assuming that you're applying the pins, uh, we'll go over how to uh, run the various parts of the um, chip programmer. Um, to get the program actually on the chip.